Hey guys, it's Jackie the Boxing Diva. I'm here live at the Sands Casino in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania with King Gabriel Rosado, who's the main event tomorrow night on NBC Sports Network. How you feeling? I feel good. I feel ready. Um, made the weight on the money, and um, I'm just excited for Friday. How'd your camp go? Camp went perfect. Um, we did the first six weeks in Philly, and uh, we finished the last two weeks in um, Phoenix, Arizona. Kind of just to, you know, get my mind right and just focus and get away from distractions, things like that. So it's a real important fight, so I just want to make sure I do what I got to do to win the fight. You went away for your last camp also. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like that's maybe your new groove is taking a few mm -hmm. weeks? Yeah, I I've been doing it for like my last couple fights. And it's just, you know, at this point in my career, you know, it's important that I'm 100% focused mentally and physically for the fight. And, you know, I, I don't want to um, come up short. You know, I want to make sure I do whatever it takes to, to win. So whatever it takes, I'm willing to do. Right. So coming off your last fight, a lot of people said, hey, he's ready for the big guys. He's ready for Canelo. He's ready for K-9. You talked about this on our airwaves last week. But for those of people out there who didn't listen, which they all should, <laughs> and are watching here on YouTube, who do you want next? What's next for you? Where are you going? Well, you know, I just I, I want to take, yeah, I want to take care of business with Whitaker. I'm not looking past him, you know, um, but he's definitely the guy that I have to win to get those big fights. So I want to I want to make a statement on Friday so that I can get those big fights. So, mm -hmm. you know, a win is not, you know, just the win is not important. It's important that I that I dominate the fight and that I destroy him. So that way the fans say, um, you know, we want to see Rosado fight Canelo or whoever's out there. But, um, you know, I definitely want to fight with Canelo because he is, um, you know, he is the, the big fish at uh, 154. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I have to take care of Whitaker on Friday to uh, get that opportunity. Right. And your last fight, you fought Sekou Powell, and he was kind of a late replacement. This time you knew who you were fighting the whole time. You think mm -hmm. that you prepared better because there was no change up and mm -hmm. no altercations that had to be made? Well, I, I prepare well for every fight. Um, the fact that they switched up Sagoon Powell like the last couple of weeks, um, you know, did it throw us off as far as, you know, the change of style it did? But, um, you know, we're professionals and. I think what makes me a special fighter is the fact that I can make um, the adjustment in the middle of the fight. Right. And that's what I did in that fight. I was able to make the adjustment, and, um, and that's why I ended up winning the fight. Right, and you put him out in the ninth round. Yeah. Um, so you think you're going to go to this, the distance this time? Nope. Anything special up your sleeve nope. that we should know about? Nope, um, it won't go past six. Um, I'm determined to stop him. Um, if I can stop him earlier than six, I will. But... Um, I don't want him to pass the sixth round. So nothing past the sixth, and then it's on to the club, right? Yeah. No, no, not, no club, no club. Back in the gym? <laughs> no, um, no, I'm thinking you're talking about partying. Oh, talking about partying. <laughs> hey, no, after the fight, nah, I'm focused, man. After the fight, I just go to my room and chill with the family and things like that, you know, and then uh, go back home the next day. But, you know, um, I want to I make a statement. So I don't really predict fights. But, you know, I'm saying that it's going to be over in the sixth round or less because I need to make a statement. Like, I just can't win this fight. I have to look good and I have to dominate this guy. And I have to show that, you know, being that I fought Soto Karaz and Sakun and I stopped these guys, I have to keep that ball rolling. And um, if I stop this guy, it'll definitely keep the buzz going and the fans will definitely like a fight between me and Canelo. Or, anybody, right. or any big fish in the 54 division. And you'll be in line for it because this is for the number one spot, right? Exactly, exactly. So then you'll be mandatory. And yeah, mandatory. Yeah, exactly. So the IBF says that, you know, winner gets the mandatory to the IBF, which will be um, within six months. So, so it you're definitely not going to the club. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. So within, so within you know, I get this win, you know, within six months, um, you know, I get a title shot. So, you know, I'm excited about that. And, um, you know, this fight's very important. And I'm not looking past this guy at all. You know, I know that he's taking this very serious because, you know, if he wins, he gets the number one spot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I expect him to bring his A game. And that's just going to make, uh, that's just going to bring the best out of me. So right. I can't wait. Right. And all the fans are looking forward to it, especially mm -hmm. ones like me. Yeah. Been here yeah, since the beginning. It. I appreciate it. But uh, do you want to shout out your Twitter and your Instagram? Yeah, or you know, uh, follow me on Twitter at King Gob Rosado. Um, Facebook, King Gabriel Rosado, 
and um, my website at King. Um, my website is King Gabriel, King Gabrielzado, uh, dot com. And basically, you know, show love. I'm de I definitely show love back, and you know, I appreciate the fans that I'm going to put a hell of a show on Friday, and I just can't wait. All right. Well, thank you very much. No I'm Jackie. You know where to find me. This is King Gabe. We'll see you tomorrow.